California's electric car chargers actually outnumber gas pumps. There's more EV chargers in California than gas pumps. That doesn't include people's own households where they have their own EV chargers as well. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. Great to have you with us. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. California is one of the largest markets for electric cars. Uh, therefore, there's a fair bit of electric car infrastructure there. Maybe some would say not enough, depending on what car you own. Of course, if you own a Tesla, well, it appears most people are pretty happy. But more people now have access to Tesla's chargers from other car brands, so that's helping as well. According to the California Energy Commission, recently, there is actually 178,550 public and shared private chargers installed across the state. That's a huge number. If you compare that to the amount of gas pumps, there's 120,000 gas nozzles. Now, that means there is 48% more EV chargers than gas dispensers. And that, like I said, does not include people's own household uh, plugins, you know, chargers that are littered all over the state. There could be millions of those as well. Now, to break them down, yeah, of those chargers, 162,000 are level two units that aren't super, super fast, but, you know, they're still useful. But Here's the thing, the California Energy Commission says that there's more than 700,000 level two chargers in single family homes. That means if you put all these numbers together, there is approximately 900,000 chargers in California. 900,000. Now guys, I had this idea, I was thinking to myself, well, why don't we make an app or some sort of a community where people have access to those chargers? So this could be a situation where, you know, you might not want to join up with this network, but why not? So the idea is if you join the network, uh, then you just basically pay per use. Now, if you've got access to 900,000 charges across, across California, you could drive anywhere. I mean, California, yeah, there's a lot of people living in Los Angeles, San Diego, you know, obviously San Francisco, but there's a lot of areas that are quite remote. And that's the, those are the areas where you might need to use someone's home charger. And a lot of people have 22 kilowatt home chargers. That's quite fast, right? 22 kilowatt home charger, you can get plenty of, plenty of charge within a few hours and you'd be on your way. So if you went camping or something like that, this would open up access to tens of thousands of chargers in remote areas across California. And it'd also give people a bit of extra money in their pockets as well. Anyway, this could, could be kind of a good idea for a community. I mean, I feel like as, as EV owners, we're part of a community. This would be a way to kind of get that EV transition happening even faster. Do you guys, what do you guys think about this? Is this a crazy idea? Do you think it could work? The remaining 16,971 chargers that I haven't mentioned so far, about 10%, they're DC fast chargers. So yeah, there's more gas pumps than DC fast chargers, but I don't think that really means much seeing as most EV owners actually charge from home. California credits the amazing charging infrastructure. Well, it's not amazing, it's pretty damn good and it's getting better every day to dedicating billions to support clean transportation goals, including approving a $1.4 billion investment plan to create the most extensive charging and hydrogen network in the country. Now imagine if you know, California obviously has spent many billions on its hydrogen network already. Imagine if they had just, you know, foregone all that and invested that into EV charging. There could be double the number of DC fast chargers in California than what there is today. And I think this continued investment into hydrogen in California is a tremendous mistake. I don't really understand why they're doing it. If you do, if you're involved in that somehow, let me let us all know in the comments. There are also other efforts such as $55 million projected to install fast charging stations at businesses and other publicly accessible locations across the state. In fact, many hotels are installing them because if they don't have an EV charger, they're much less likely to get a booking they've found. That's just through data online. California Energy Commission Chair David Hothschild said, the California EV driver experience is getting better by the day. The state will continue to heavily invest in EV infrastructure with particular emphasis on hard to reach areas, making these vehicles an easy choice for new car buyers. That's good news for people living in California, where around 25% of new car purchases are electric cars. And that, my friends, means that California leads the United States when it comes to EV penetration and EV sales. Now, hopefully, the rest of America looks on and says, well, that would be good to have that. That'd be nice. Let's, let's start buying more electric cars. Will that happen this year in the United States? Let me, go, let me know, guys, if you live in America, how do you see this EV transition playing out this year in the United States? Let us know in the comments. The Washington Post claimed earlier this year, they said 
that the Biden administration spent $7.5 billion on installing EV chargers in the US. But for $7.5 billion, it only built seven chargers. So they framed this story as to say that each EV charger cost $1 billion each. Now, I don't know who's running the Washington Post, but clearly this is a targeted disinformation campaign likely sponsored by fossil fuels or potentially by internal combustion engine vehicle companies in America. The attempt here is insidious. This is borderline evil. Framing this story in such a way that is incredibly misleading and has meant that many Americans think that they're literally that America is literally spending a billion dollars to install one single supercharger location. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Great to have you with us. I want to say a big thank you to all of you for supporting the channel. Uh, by becoming YouTube members of the channel, that does help me to continue to make videos and to try to help educate people on the truth behind what's happening with EV chargers, the truth behind electric cars. And it does give me a platform. So thank you so much for your support. If you'd like to become a member, I'll put a link in the description below. Now, the Washington Post story was picked up by numerous media during about around about the middle of the year before the election, of course. I don't know if that was part of it or not, but this story was picked up by thousands of the media and people really believe this stuff. I mean, they believe that the Biden administration built seven charges for $7.5 billion. As President Joe Biden's term came to an end, social media users continue to falsely claim that his administration spent billions of dollars on the construction of just seven EV charging stations. Multiple high-profile figures, including sitting members of Congress, have promoted these claims. The claims completely misrepresent funding set aside by the 2021 Infrastructure and Jobs Act, also known as the Bipartisan Infrastructure Law for a national network of publicly available electric vehicle chargers. Biden set a goal of creating 500,000 EV chargers by 2030, which would be good. I mean, there'd still be a lot more EV chargers in China by a factor of 10, but that'd still be a good number. Let's have a look at the actual facts here. Claim, the Biden administration spent 7.5 billion to build actually its eight EV charging stations, 7.5 billion. Obviously, that's incorrect. The $7.5 billion figure refers to the total amount allocated through the 2021 law to build a network of charging stations across the US, not the amount that is actually being spent. There are currently 214 operational charges in 12 states that have been funded through the law. Now, that funding was not $7.5 billion. It was a tiny fraction of that amount. And in fact, there is an additional 24,800 projects underway across the country, according to the Federal Highway Administration. 